you want to hear the audio of the retards playing football? Absolutely. Of course. I'm sure they sound dumber than those Clydesdales. It was a very emotional piece. All right. All right. This is the type of thing you now get during uh, Super Bowl coverage. Okay, let's be uh, kind. On an autumn morning in New York's Hudson Valley, Tommy Hines starts his Saturday by lining this field With and thinking retards. about the joy it will soon bring. The kids and their smiles on their faces and everything. I mean, they never it's... go away. Those smiles. <laughs> what is he talking about? The one salad bowl they pass around for their haircuts. <laughs> oh, oh hi! God. Your daddy died. <laughs> Big smile. Doesn't matter what you tell these things. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Always smiling. They <laughs> 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 don't. Get it. <laughs> oh, but the music, Smiling man. Friends. Yeah, I, oh, the, the music. music. The music's there to make you cry. You're trying yeah. to get a play off the defensive ends or eating bark. I see the awful, terrible things in my life yeah. and turn it into something funny. Yeah, see, that's what we're doing right now. Well, we better uh, start the dramatic music again. Yeah, let oh, me hear the music. I didn't mean to mock that. I apologize. I didn't either. Tell you that. My all apologies. Right. Well, let's yeah. try to get through this. All right. Oh, apologize. On an autumn morning in New York's Hudson Valley, Tommy Hines starts his Saturday by lining this field and thinking about the joy it will soon bring. What does he line it with? Kids. What does he line it with? Like a wee wee pad, like you would for a bunch of puppies in the kitchen. <laughs> I'm trying to play the piece. I'm starting over again. <laughs> oh, shit. On an autumn morning in New York's Hudson Valley, Tommy Hines starts his Saturday by lining this field and thinking about the joy it will soon bring. The kids and their smiles on their faces and everything, I mean, it's... I can't get that out of my head. And it makes every minute of what I do worthwhile. For Tommy knows that hours from now. For Tommy knows. For Tommy knows. It's going to be all artistic. <laughs> he said their, 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 their smiles makes it all worthwhile what I do. What kind of job does he have? Does he give experimental drugs to pregnant women? <laughs> Another success. <laughs> I run a bar for pregnant women, but I just serve them alcohol. <laughs> Unless he's lining the field with a firing squad. I don't want to hear the rest of this. Oh. I'd love to get them to play tag football. You tie a yellow thing to the front of a Buick. Go ahead, go grab that. <laughs> they would. Um, it's because someone they trust told them. <laughs> From now, his work and this field will help make the most improbable of football dreams come true. These are the devils of East Greenbush, New York. They are all pioneers. For this is the nation's first and only Pop Warner Challenger Football League. I thought the Jets were. <laughs> Challenger Football League. Wow. Appropriate. <laughs> to name them after the, something that blew another up. Another disaster. Yeah. <laughs> another, 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 another what could have been. <laughs> Shattered dreams. <laughs> Crying parents. <laughs> A nation shocked and revulsed. <laughs> They're playing the endeavors. With it, we... first come up with it, we had people look at us like we were nuts. Uh, well, we started. You want my kid on the field but in a wheelchair playing football. That's what happens in this Challenger League, where young athletes with disabilities are brought to this field and often aided by a parent, they catch the ball, carry the ball, and cross the goal line. All the de defensive line needs is broom handles. <laughs> <laughs> right in the spokes. <laughs> <laughs> they they catch the ball, run with the ball, and cross the goal line. Then shit their pants and get confused. 
<laughs> been running in a circle at age 30. No one loses. No one even keeps score. Oh, and while they do play defense, no contact flag football rules. Let mid twenties men share the field safely with preteen girls. <laughs> All right. Wow. Hold on. Retarded justice. <laughs> <laughs> Not get these people worked up. Oh. Oh. What are they Let doing? Let mid 20s men share the field safely with preteen girls. Like Kenzie Edwards, an eight year old with Down syndrome oh. who loves to imitate her favorite player, the Giants' Jeremy Schock. When you score a touchdown, what do you do with the ball? Um, I got to put it before. What? <laughs> um,. I don't know. What'd she say? She said, "I uh, uh, uh. <laughs> let's uh, let's say hi to Bill in Michigan." Bill. Yeah. Hey, Bill. What's happening? What's up? I was just wondering uh, what Bob Kelly's reaction was during this commercial. Oh my God! He lost Not a five... commercial, sir. <laughs> <laughs> He lost five pounds of water weight. <laughs> I bet so. Uh, no, he uh, didn't. He scored of... 21 points. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hermione, <laughs> man. <laughs> Hermione. I was playing touch football, oh. and a retard thought jelly was on me, so he tackled me. <laughs> Lick my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Hold my chromosomes. <laughs> Nelson in Jersey. Nelson. Hey, what's up, guys? Hey. What hey. What's up? Part of that whole fucking thing was when they threw the ball to the one kid and they're talking about the parents helping him out. They handed the ball to the kid in the wheelchair and he fucking drops it on the ground. And the yeah. parents have to run and like pick it up and give it back to him so he can score the touchdown. Oh, the parents can run out on the field and help? Yeah. Oh, the parents Is this really a game? Wheelchair. Oh, they're pushing? No, they're the parents do everything. Like, eh. Parents yeah. push the wheelchairs, catch the pass, give it to their... Uh... Oh, their thing, geez. and then they then they push the wheelchair oh, forward. That's just. Um, uh, let's go to Mike oh. in Jersey. Mike, what's up? Yeah, I was uh, watching that special story, and it seems like uh, the best part for these kids is the parents get to change them from hockey helmets to the football helmets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Chad in California, Chad. Hey, I know what the little girl said. She said, three rides make a left. I want to go home." <laughs> Three left. Wait, three right. Yeah, that was right. Yeah. All right, Chad. Thank you. There you go. Let's go to Jim in Florida. Jim, what's up? Yeah, I'm wondering, what's the cheerleading squad like? A bunch of girls with Down syndrome going, rah, rah, rah. <laughs> no. I had kind of a good <laughs> premise to oh, it. Shit. I like the premise of the retarded cheerleader, but... Uh, I think we might have a little more audio well, here. Well, they, they try to get... Like the taunts going, the cheerleading taunts, like, you know, one, two, three, four, but they get to the one and then they just get stuck. <laughs> one. Ah. Did you write this down? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's see if there's more audio. I'm at a loss. From new end zone dances <laughs> to the old hidden ball trick, these Pop Warner athletes get to do every. Where do you hide the ball behind your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> to the old hidden ball trick. Give me a R. Give me a L. Give me a X. Give me a shoe. <laughs> Why is that spell? I don't know. We got spirit. Yes, we do. We got spirit. I think I made two. <laughs> One, two, three, four. We're still going to get beat up at school. <laughs> Jesus. This is so wrong. Here we go in our pants. Here we go. <laughs> B. Retarded. B. E. Retarded. Retarded. 
Let's uh, go to Chad in Florida. Hey, Chad, what's up? Hey, what's up? I was just wondering, uh, did, did they allow electric wheelchairs? And if they did or did not, would that be considered performance enhancing? <laughs> he didn't want to get his Click. phone call critiqued. <laughs> Click. That's not fair. Mm -hmm. you got to sit there and get critiqued after your call. Take the pain. These Pop Warner athletes get to do everything they've seen other kids do. Athletes like 16-year-old Alyssa Hines, who has cerebral palsy and has known the pain of being treated as different. <laughs> How do they do to make feel? Upset and mad. Oh. But now I'm okay with it because of football. Oh. It makes me feel like I can actually come out there and do something. Yeah. I have a life just like everybody else. Slow down. <laughs> They are all lives that deserve these moments of joy, oh, nice. no matter how fleeting. Yeah. Eight years ago, Jake Powell suffered a brain seizure and collapsed in front of his parents. Month after month of doctors and tests... Jesus! Oh, Wait a minute. I just want to watch a fucking football game. Let's hear his quote. I bring nothing to the table. <laughs> wow. He did suffer some damage. These bastards. I just want to watch the Super Bowl. And, and then, they they, got then they enhance it. You, you know, because I'm sure we're going to get killed on this one. And then they're enhancing the story with the most dramatic, sad music they can possibly yeah. find from their music library. It's the um, uh, the uh, cancer piano music. Oh, crap. Michael in Arizona. Michael. How are you guys today? Hey, good. Hey, you know what? I've been listening to you guys for a few months, and uh, today is the only day I have a problem with. I, I just don't think that it's very cool <clears throat> that you guys uh, poke fun at these folks here. It's not. No, you're right. It's not. It's beautiful, but um, we we know no other way. I don't think it's uh, very cool that they threw this piece on TV yesterday. Yeah, it's kind of to exploit them, it's, don't you think? It's supposed to be a very festive Sunday for everybody. You, you invite your friends and family over, and it's all about happiness. You're forgetting about work and your stupid lies for one fucking day, and and they throw this at you. Absolutely. What's wrong with that? They, these kids are happy. What if this is the only thing that they ever make them happy the entire year is this one football game? But does it have to happen on Super Bowl Sunday? Can't they be happy some other day on a Sunday maybe? How about a July 8th? Let them be happy. They only get one day of happiness. Can we at least space it out? I think it's just because Jimmy is upset because they get more TV time than he does. That is actually true, and they would probably, uh, yeah, if, they, give them that. if they wanted to give these people, you know, a day in the spotlight, they should have chose, uh, I don't know, the spot right after Emily Rose. Yeah. Right? That's really funny, actually. Thank you. See, because Emily Rose only had one episode before they yanked the series, and right. the ratings were really, really bad. So to follow that would be really awful. The, they would be no one would be bad watching. Leading. I know. Bad leading, yeah. But I didn't think I had to explain the entire joke. I, I hate... Listeners that have to bring everything down to reality. I know, man. We were just having fun. But then he tried to, like... This stuff makes us feel better about ourselves. Absolutely. <laughs> we don't know them. It's we, funny because we don't know them. If we did, it would be horrible. No, it wouldn't. It would still be a hoot. Doctors <laughs> and tests revealed that he had a rare form of cancer. Oh. That means that there's no cure. There never has been. They can prolong life as much as possible but they can't cure it he the quarterback he now knows that he will die and oh, he's I, okay i just oh want to my watch the god game. you don't want to be sitting here watching a child soul go. what all right why did they do all right, this listen, we're making jokes in it all but this is a question what's the purpose of this what is the someone point? explain me the purpose of this seriously do you understand this every kid, human being on this fucking planet has issues and problems and things we have to deal with on a daily basis? And I don't want to sit there and get depressed and fucking deal with other people's bullshit like this. Especially on Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah. When you sit down for Super Bowl... No, I'm serious, though. Super Bowl Sunday, you're, you're like, wow, this is a really fun, festive day yeah. with your you know, friends and family. Why are they throwing this at you? This is worse than any Janet Jackson tit. Absolutely. Right here. Worse, worse than any Janet Jackson tit. Leaves me feeling more depressed and fucking angry than Janet Jackson tit. And what's the purpose? What is the purpose? Well, what I are they selling to, here? To have, uh, what are they selling? RD40. <laughs> to have all of America feel sorry for this person, and then what? Acme hangers. <laughs> and then what? Is there a number 
So we could donate to mm-hmm. something that we can't cure? What is it? So how does it end? Jesus. Please tell me it ends soon. It's, yeah. it's easy to make fun, but seriously, what is the purpose of this? What is the purpose? As far as I'm concerned, it's so we can do this. Yeah. That's the child still go. <laughs> he's happy as long as we keep him happy. Jake has missed most of this season's games. So the members of Jake's family do everything they can to get Jake onto the football field one more time oh, for the last game of the season. Go, go, get on the go, go. Come on, play the football. Just In the first oh, half, Jake is racing toward the end zone. Oh, and the ball God. slips from his grasp. <laughs> and Jake loses his chance to score. That's terrific. Oh. That's terrific. <laughs> It happens to the Are pros. Are you fucking kidding me? Happens to the pros. <laughs> That's right. Come and on. Why did they have to uh, keep that in the piece? Yeah. I like the fact they, they kept the that good, in the piece. They, I know, but they had the feel-good part where the kid finally gets to Let play. Let score. They could show him on the field going, and the dr- you know his dream came true. He got on the field one, uh, uh, one last time. End of story. Thank you very much. Get to Aaron <laughs> Neville to butchering the fucking national anthem. I guess it's, it's, it's fucking... Uh, it's tough to catch a football with a brick on your pituitary gland. <laughs> they had to add the part where the guy drops the fucking ball as he's trying to score. Oh. But we're the bastards today. Then, before halftime, Jake must be taken off the field. Oh. He couldn't finish up. He had a seizure, and so he had to be changed, and... He's like, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm like... It wasn't a seizure, it was his end zone oh, dance. Oh, my God. He got, oh, <laughs> he got a little confused. Uh, oh. Uh, he said, I'm sorry. That's really depressing. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm sorry, and I'm like, this is nothing to do. You did not do this. It's not anything you can help, so do not worry about it. But even as his body betrays him, Jake has a spirit that stays strong. He returns to the field. And now, when it comes time for Jake to score a touchdown, Ah. it is a gift of love from father to son. Right. The movie music kicks in. Everybody wants that moment. Dip this hands in molasses. (laughs) Don't drop it, stupid. That's what the challenge (laughs) is all about. Don't embarrass me again. (laughs) Given every child. Regardless I can take you are, dropping it once. I can take you shitting your pants on the field. To feel that don't important don't not cover the spread. Of the world. I got fifteen hundred on this game. <laughs> how old was Jake? Oh. I didn't see it. Thank how, how God. How could you I tell? Didn't see that. He could have been four or thirty. I don't know. Oh, oh. is that depressing? Yes. I'll, and we wanted to have a little fun with it, but obviously that is a horrific that is, story. It just got worse and worse. What was the point? Someone explain to me what the point was. That um, That's okay, but we're not allowed to see Jan Jackson's uh, left hit. And this is where he came out and boom, crapped his pants. <laughs> <sighs> oh, horrid. See, this is the 5-4 defense. This is when the running back goes to the left. All the defensive ends just roll on the ground and hold sodas. <laughs> Let's go to Flop Dick in Cleveland. Flop Dick. Good morning, boys. What's going on? Flop hey. Dick. I, uh, there was another funny part I noticed on there. One of the fathers of the retarded, he holds his retarded daughter on his knee. And he's kind of shaking her, and he says, uh, Honey, you like doing the end zone dance, don't you? <laughs> and he sits back chuckling, and her retarded face doesn't move a bit. Punching out. Let's go to Beck Ooh, in Florida. Jesus, dude. I know, that was harsh. Oh. Beck, what's up? Hey. What's up, guys? Hey. You know, we're sitting here with our buddies, drinking, watching the game, making fun of the retards, and all of our girlfriends get pissed off at us. Ruin the fucking day. We get the silent treatment during the whole fucking game, and it ruined the whole football. Yes. Yeah, that's pretty much a... a, a, a bitches, they, all they care is about is the retards. We're out trying to have a good time. That was a piece for women. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Oh, uh, they Better were to bring the women in. They were just crying their eyes out yesterday watching that. Didn't see the old football games. They didn't do that. Let's parade out the thalidomide babies to see if they can catch a football with flipper hands. <laughs> Here comes little Mark. He has polio. We sure hope a cure comes in for this soon. And remember, smoke luckies. 
Oh, that's just awful. Now we're all depressed. We're going to have to break oh. and regroup. I, I, I was holding it together until he apologized for shitting his own pants. Yeah. Like, yeah. He had a seizure and had to be changed. I mean, why, though? Seriously. And then they, they used the dramatic music to really... They didn't need music on that piece, trust me. <laughs> yeah, that would have worked. It would have worked well. All right, we'll go to break with this. We'll continue.